Hello, talented souls. Happy day. Happy week. Happy life. Look at the sun. Welcome. Welcome back. Look at the sun. Oh, wow. So beautiful. And look at this river. There's so many, so many ducks here that I saw. Okay, this is a perfect moment to start an intro. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love, be who you are, never compromise. Exactly. Be who you are. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, this is paradise land. Honestly. Oh, wow. All the little ducks, you know, it's springtime. Obviously, summer is starting in England and uh, it's getting warmer, but not so much yet. And I'm here with my little dog in my walk, my morning walk. And I saw this and I said, okay, they're all together. This is so gorgeous, family feeling, abundance, you know, A gorgeous sunny day. I mean, it cannot be more perfect. It cannot be more perfect to start this intro. Okay. I am grateful for, you know, all of you to support my channel, to support what I do. I'm super grateful. And today, you know, I wanted to share something, you know, I was, um, I was talking with one of my subscribers, okay, and um, about guides, uh, and I thought, you know, like, we have guides, okay, but we need to choose our guides too, okay, so we have the ability to choose our guides, and what I want to say is, like, choose wisely. If anyone comes, you know, because you're obviously you're very intuitive, you're very psychic i mean if you're in this channel and if you you know watch tarot it's because definitely your intuition is quite high and definitely you know you are working on developing even farther so if you are practicing if you're trying to connect with your guys and trying to understand who they are etc etc make sure that you choose them i mean no force no because someone want to be connected with you from the other realm or from the spirit realm you need to be with them. I mean, I think we choose guys the same as we choose people, okay? And this is a very interesting concept that came to my mind because, you know, I mean, all good, you know? There will be people that want to, you know, even touch to your energy and they, they shouldn't, not, not everyone should be welcome, okay? So make sure that when you get advice, you get it from the higher beings. The higher beings means from, you know, from people that, the stories they have done, they work, you know, the same as we choose humans, you should choose the guides, okay? And that is something that I wanted to share today to, into my channel because I think it is important that all of you connect with, you know, with vibrations that are super, super high, okay? If we want to become, you know, part of this new earth and as uh, Dolores, Dolores Cano, no? Is the sun name? She's amazing. I really follow her. She, uh, what she said, I think I truly believe on, you know, on her teachings. I haven't listened to every teaching, but the teachings so far that have came into my feet have always been amazing. And this is about that, you know. It's not that the new earth means that we are dividing. I mean, it's not like that, uh, let's say, um, figuratively speaking, that the earth is going to divide in two. It's simple, simple about consciousness. And the people that is more awake will live life in one term and it will be a far better term. And the people that is not awake won't be living in the right terms. And they will still be hanging on into the, the, the lessons that they need to learn. And this is not punishment. This is us part of evolution. When humans repeat mistakes, it's because they have not learned the mistake. The same with karma. If you have not learned your karma, then you repeat the karma. It's as simple as that. It's a balance. It's a balance in life, you know? It's a balance. So, talking about spirit guys, please make sure you choose them and choose the right ones. Okay? Be selective. That's what I want you to say. Okay. And the topic for today, the topic for today is um, I saw this video from this beautiful, uh, you know, uh, I mean, we, we are kind of, you know, I have the feeling that every tarot reader is connected some way, somehow, because we are tapping into similar topics, okay? And it's okay because that means that people need to hear the message, you know, twice, three times, etc., with different voices and different perspectives. That's totally fine. 
that's you know that's what we are here for you know if you resonate with my voice you resonate with my voice if you resonate with the voice of someone else i believe voice are really important especially on tarot reading because the voice is the vibration okay so the topic is three big blessings coming your way three big blessings happening to you and i want to talk about three because in the last reading I also saw the three so, so many times. Also on my patrons reading, the three is going crazy. It feels to me that we are in this creative energy. So I think this is a perfect reading for right now. It's three big, three big blessings. And we're going to identify each blessing coming your way. And um, thank you to my colleagues, to my peers, to everyone that, you know, uh, that is supporting, you know, this mission of uh, helping you to connect with your authenticity and in my particular case is about you doing what you love okay thank you the sun has you know it's hidden now in the clouds but it's a still gorgeous view look at that i love it it is a gorgeous morning i'm truly blessed to be here doing this intro with this view it's just spectacular you know, and also water for me is always, you know, cheers me up, it relax, it calms me down, you know, such a great feeling. Okay, I cannot wait. Thank you so much for all the love and I see you in your reading. Let's go for it. Love you. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for um, the comments in particular with regards to the 24 hours manifestation reading. I have been amazed about things happening for you. Thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe, this energy amplifies and um, I'm here only for the good news. <laughs> okay, today is a tarot only deck. I don't know why. It's like a reinforcement of the message. It's like if you have only tarot cards, you know, you reinforce the messages. And when you have double, triple, it is amazing. With the exception that I'm going to put a poem from the deck that I created with uh, Lanon and Samantha, which is the deck of the Cosmic Creators. These are the booklets. And this deck is available on a link under timestamps. And this is the only one that I'm going to put out today because this is a poem that will resonate with the uh, soul's resonate, will resonate with the reading, okay, at the end. You can purchase this, it's a full, cre I mean, it has been amazing the process of creating this. And uh, I interpret uh, Lanon's art, and Lanon's art was all about the dragon energy, and these uh, poems and these, let's say, channelings are all about, you know, uh, soul journey and uh, the journey of the creation, which is the journey that all of you are in. We're all in that journey of creative, you know, creating something better for us and for everyone that is around us and beyond us. Okay, with that, let's go to the reading of today, which is three blessings happening to you. This is a timeless reading, although I'm recording, uh, you know, uh, now in uh, June, okay, this is a timeless reading, but, okay, I will try always to get some time in, you know, with the tarot cards, of course, okay, but these are three blessings coming your way, and I cannot wait, okay, option number one is this, this these are all rings that are going to be available on my Etsy shop, timestamp under the, um, link, sorry, under timestamps, um, and these are charged with the energy of the reading. So these crystals transmute or trans transfer this energy into the person that, you know, uh, get the item, no, get the reading. Okay, option number one is aventurine, just to match the color of the deck, of course. Look at this. Okay, this is the, re this is the, the perfect, uh, you know, it's beautiful, no? I love it. Okay, this is option number one, and the deck is the, uh, I haven't used this one in ages, and it's very famous, very well known, and it's the Muse Tarot. 
Talking about three blessings, we have the three of wands. Domino effect. Wow. Domino effect is when something multiplies. Oh, I love that. Okay. That's option number one. I will show the other song, you know. Option number two is this beautiful quartz gold ring. I'm just demonstrating the beauty. <laughs> this is a deck that I don't, people don't use it that much because there are so many naked people, okay? I try to cover as many as I can, but if there is one coming, it's not for sensitive eyes. <laughs> okay, uh, and this is the She-Wolf Tarot. It's gorgeous. Ah, those ones are covered, thank goodness me. Nine of Pentacles, you see? Nine of Pentacles. Abundance, the fountain of the wishes. You know, when you are going to Spain, I mean, I always think about Spain with these fountains, a very Arabic, Arabic, Arabic design. You go there, you put your coin, the fountain of the wishes. Three wishes, nine of pentacles. I like it. Three, nine, Tesla. Okay. Option number three is this beautiful <clears throat> amethyst. Ring. And this is another very powerful uh, tarot deck because I haven't used it in a while. And this is the Lioness. The Lioness Oracle Tarot is gorgeous. And we have a Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Look at how pretty, sorry, is how pretty are these? It's like all them. Okay, let's put another. The Four of Cups. Okay, wow, this is my pile that is very, very much desiring for something definitely to change. Okay, let's go for it. Those are the decks. This is the ring that will go in this reading, in this particular pile. And I'm putting back my ring to match the colors of today. <laughs> And uh, yes, and I cannot wait. See you in your reading. Thank you so much for the love. See you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen my uh, my beer pile number one, if you have chosen this beautiful ring and this deck, which is the new tarot with the aventuring, I'm going to put it here. This will be charged with the energy of the reading and available on the Etsy shop. The listing is on the timestamps. Let's check. What are the three blessings coming your way? Three big blessings coming your way. Three big blessings coming your way. Okay. Because it's a three, I'm going to put three. And it's always four. Okay. It's always four. Okay. But I need three. And it's three big blessings. Okay, I'm going to clarify them. Because I want three cards here. Ace of Cups. <laughs> I love that energy of the Ace of Cups. Look at how gorgeous. Well, Ace of Cups is fulfillment. Everything fulfilled. This is about self-love. This is about feeling content, feeling whole. And because we have water and element here uh, and someone under the sea, uh, some of you are fulfilling a dream of, you know, living near the sea or, let's say, having the opportunity to, I don't know why I'm getting this, but purchase a house in front of the sea, purchase a house in front of the water. I mean, this is about, I mean, you or a house with a swimming pool, I'm seeing some of you. The idea of jumping into the water and feeling at that present moment, at that precise moment, that everything is fulfilled, even in a holiday, for example. This ace of emotions brings energy of pure contentment. Okay, so this is fulfillment 100%. Let's see the blessings, what are about. Then I will clarify with another title deck. Okay, blessing number one. The devil and the muse of voices. Oh, I love it. I love it. The muse of voices is the king of swords. And the devil, of course, is a Capricorn card and a king of swords. Okay. 
So one big blessing is a complete detachment from, this is detachment. This devil here, she's very happy, like, uh, you know, crossing the hands and saying, I don't give a F about what you want, I'm free. And the, the king of swords is someone that is very clear, determined on their path. So the big blessing number one has been the detachment and the clarity of leaving something behind that doesn't serve you. Okay? Addictions, I mean, addiction, no addictions, um, attachments. Okay? Any yeah. attachment. Attachment to a place, a job, a person, a relationship, a friendship, a location. This is about a pure pure, clean cat detachment. The, you have walk, you, you, this is someone walking here, okay? You're going towards your dreams no matter what. This is like no matter what. And it's a major arcana and it's a king. So you have master saying no. You have master detachment. You have master, I don't give a F, okay? About what you want, I'm going towards my dreams. This is the devil and the devil and the king of six is very significant. So this month is very significant. And the king of, king of uh, swords, you know, is super clear that there is nothing that is stop a king of swords. Okay. It's, it's the most evolved decision maker, decision making, uh, clarity, uh, action connected to, clar to clarity, action connection to decision. It is a king. And it is the source, it is the mind, it is the voice that, you know, uh, unlock uh, the path. The voice that unlock the path, why I'm saying this, the voice that unlock the path is because you have been, you have been able to share, to say it. I don't accept this anymore. And it could be anything. Okay, and the A's obviously talk about a new beginning. Blessing number one is the mastery of you know, of going towards your dreams and uh, saying no to the things that don't serve you, okay? And this is something easy to say, difficult to achieve. I mean, you can say, yeah, that's nothing. No, that's the biggest thing ever. Because working in your own, knowing who you are with Ace of Cups, working on your own path is the most difficult thing ever. The rest will follow. The rest comes. Okay, blessing number two. The end, look at this. You see, the end and a new offer. Page of material is the page of caps. And the ten of inspiration is the ten of wands. Okay. And ten of inspiration is the ten of wands. But this lady is carrying uh, a water. Is carrying water. Which is the ace of emotion, which is the uh, eleven. Eleven cups. Again, this is putting you first and, you know, walking your path. Page of material is a new material offer, new offer, okay? This is about something that I start and is connected to your ideas. It is playful. It is fun. It feels light. It feels something that you love. Many of you are leaving job behind Many of you are leaving the burden of uh, relationships. I'm getting a lot about, you know, starting something new, okay? And it's very connected to uh, a job in many cases because some of you are finally getting that position that is a little bit more uh, rewarding. Uh, some of you are going solo, starting your own business and manifesting this uh, a continuous flow of ideas, Okay. So this is an ending, definitely a decision, a new beginning in terms of a material uh, endeavor. It could be an investment. It could be something connected to um, um, anything that you put a seed on, a material seed, and it's very connected to your passions, very connected to what you love. And this is something that is starting. And that's one of the big blessings. Finally, you can have headspace to do this because the burden is done. You have his pay to do this. The last blessing, and then obviously we are going to clarify everything. Temperance, balance. Wow, I love it. The Major Arcana. From the devil to the balance, yes. The temperance card is always about overflowing. Wow, night of inspiration. Yes, 
This is definitely achieving balance towards your passions, achieving balance to the things that you love. They will give you the money, they will give you what you, they will give you what you need, and they will, you know, make you feel, you know, from a devil to a temperance, you know, from feeling trapped to feeling free. Okay. Wow. Celebration of your talent, celebration, you know, freedom. Freedom. This is very clean for me, uh, reading in terms of you following what works for you, leaving burden, leaving attachments, starting something that is completely fulfilling with the Ace of Cups, having your mind super clear, your heart and your mind are connected with this page of Pentacles to create abundance, to create what you want. And here is like a fireworks. The here is like about, about feeling so much joy. And the temperance is a promise of, you know, of everything in order. Okay? Everything is in order. Okay, I love this for you. Okay, let's clarify all of this with this other tarot deck. Also, this is very much about going in the right path. Eh? Okay, I'm going to put one of these. One of this deck. This is the... Um, that one is the Journey Tarot. This is the Journey Tarot. And this is the Star, Star Child Tarot. Second edition. Okay, let's see the button, of course. Page of Crystals, they gain a confirmation that the seed is rightly planned on the right endeavor. It's the endeavor that connects your head, I mean your heart, and also your heart, but also your higher self into a, something that you truly love. Page of Crystals, Page of Crystals, the Pentacles, is also about a new offer. It's a confirmation of a new offer and a new beginning. Three of Pentacles, yes, collaboration, partnership, the right team, the right company, the right place, the right investment. Clearly, this is about work. Many of you. Okay, let's check about this. Two of Swords, yes. I love this card. You know, the Swords here are not uh, covering her face and she's walking towards her dreams like this one. She has left the doubt behind and she's walking towards the, the door that is towards her dreams or his dreams. This is about decision making. Two of swords, you have made the decision. Eight of pentacles, wow. To put your effort, to put your talent somewhere else. To put your talent really, really where matters. This is about detachment and following, following your true call. The call towards this pentacles everywhere. The call towards putting your talent, your love into things that will flourish. And we have flowers and this deck also has flowers, which is beautiful. This is about flowers that grows as well because everything is going to grow. Your talent is going to expand, you know. And all I start with saying no to an attachment. Leaving the, leaving the doubt behind with the two of swords, planting those swords next, next to your path and going forward. I love that. Four of Wands. Well, this is victory. This is solid destiny. This is uh, Four of Wands for me is a card of celebration. This is celebration. Okay. This is uh, solid foundations as well. Wherever you go is solid and it will feel lighter because you are leaving a 10 of ones to a four of ones, which is, it is flying. These ones are flying, which means that it feels lighter. It feels lighter and if in a, it allows you to connect, you know, your, your, your headspace into things that you love. Seven of swords under the 10 of uh, ones. 
Yes. We're talking about three blessings, okay? For me, the three blessings, number one is the decision making. Number two is putting your talent to create uh, in a place that feels lighter, in a place that you're not, let's say, cheating yourself with the sign of source. It's a place where you really, truly can be yourself and can put these pentacles to work or this talent to work. And the last blessing, this is about the new offer, this is about the detachment, and this is about achieving fulfillment and balance, okay? Balance, emotional balance, um, but it's all connected, definitely all connected in your case with your uh, your career, the th uh, your business, the things that you do, okay? King of Wands, wow, this is you. From a king of swords, from being from being someone that needs to make a decision and being very cool about it, to being someone that inspires others. <laughs> I love the king of wands because we have the knight of wands and the king of wands. You're going to be in the spotlight. Many of you are going to go into something that feels far more creative and flows and flies. What you're going to do will fly. Six of Wands, victory. There's a lot of Wands here. Some of you definitely are a fire sign. Six of Wands, the victory. You see the, the, the triangle here that you were following, the when you make a decision, you walk towards this triangle and the final card is the triangle in celebration. Okay, these are two different decks. That triangle is your dreams. You're following your dream for victory. Okay, I love your reading. Your reading is... Uh, success, success, victory, recognition, public eye, balance, living the dream life. Okay? Here is the offer, the beginning. It's like a kind of a time, a time frame here, you know? We start with the, in June, with the ending of this path that doesn't serve you, making the decision. Accepting an offer that perhaps is slightly smaller, but it, leave, it give you the freedom to create. Is it, it, it you don't cheat yourself? You don't take bullshit anymore. And the outcome is this beautiful King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Temperance, the Balance, the Success with the Six of Wands. So and the decision of putting you first. This is a decision of putting you first for greater abundance and greater greater success. Many of you, well, for me, this is the pile of uh, the ones that decide to go into uh, a path of, you know, of creativity, of, you know, um, a path that is not, well, a path of freedom, to be honest, a path that allows you to do what you want, to live your life in your own terms. And if we have to say about timing, Okay, if we have to talk about time, we have another six here. Okay, for me, this is all happening as we as we speak within one month. This blessing is happening within one month, if you ask me. That will be my 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 gut feeling here. Okay, and I promise to put one uh, poem from the deck that I created with uh, Lanon. This is the deck of the Cosmic Creators. It's available on the link on the timestamps. Okay, please give us a poem for pile number and a final message for my pile number one. The dragon seed. Oh, this is the first card that I did. This is the first card that I did, which is a confirmation of first, now, a month, uh, putting you first, etc. I mean, this is the beginning. Dragon seed also, uh, when I created this uh, poem, it was all about the beginning, the beginning of the beginnings. From nothing to a spark, to fire, to heart, the pure force of cosmic formation. Oh, this is very, this is beautiful. Okay, let me read the poem for you, Dragon Seed. Wow. Dragon Seed. From nothing to a spark, to fire, to heart. This is the moment of alignment between the energies that will embody the blueprint of the dragons. 
Fire is everywhere. You may be a dragon in Chinese horoscope as well. It is a moment of power. And this is also a confirmation of the year of the dragon. This is your year for doing this. Okay. It is a moment of power and non-control. Pure force empowering the seed to be born. The seed to be born. <laughs> in cosmic silence, a spark ignites. A dragon seed awakens, piercing night. From void to fire, it shapes its heart, aligning energies to impart. A dance of flames, a force unbound. In chaos, a dragon's blueprint found. This seed, a beacon of power untamed. In the cosmos, a dragon heart name. A moment of creation, wild and free, where destiny and a spirit agree. From turmoil, a majestic beast is born. In fire and a starlight, it is sworn. Dragons, symbols of change and might bearers of luck. In flight so bright, from the seeds these guardians rise. Across the skies, the wisdom lies. In balance, in balance. They wisdom, sorry, in balance, they command the night, champions of growth and endless light. <laughs> I love that. I love my poems. Okay. This is your year. This is your day. This is your time. This is it. Congratulations, Karen, 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 Karen. I'm going for you and only you because you are here to ignite the world. That's why we connect. This ring will be charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop. First come, first serve. I'm going to put it on the Ace of Cups because this is the seed that starts it all. And I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Check on my Etsy shop. Check on my patrons. I have additional pick a card readings for the tribe, for, you know, for, for my, my fans. <laughs> You're all my fans. But there is like a... It's like a it's truly, truly, uh, the pattern is, is smaller, no? So it's obviously, it feels a little bit more intimate, no? Um, but beside that, I must say that I truly enjoy your reading and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being who you are and thank you so much for being authentically igniting and showcasing your light into this world. Namaste. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. See you in the next one. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. You have chosen pile number two in this beautiful horse ring. This will be your reading. This ring will be charged with energy of this reading and available on my Etsy shop. First come, first serve. I love that glitter in there. I love this deck. There are some naked people. I hope I covered all of them, but if not, I'm so sorry. I hope, you know, you feel the same. You know, doesn't um, um, block us, but this deck is gorgeous. This deck was calling me today because of the colors, and it's, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous deck. It's she wolf diet. Okay, three big blessings coming your way. I think they're very clear for you. At the bottom, the four of swords. This is how you are at the moment. You are like sitting there waiting. This is the energy of waiting. You're sitting there waiting. Okay. Let's cut the chase. What is happening? I know I'm going to try to find some time for you as well. Okay. Blessing number one. Night of... Oh, I tell you, they're all naked. <laughs> oh! This one, give me a second, I'm going to, I'm going to cover them. Okay. <laughs> I put some dressing on them. Right? Yeah, it's like covered. Okay. So we have a page of pentacles and a nine of pentacles. Wow. Two cars, you know, first is the page and then is the knight, no? Two cars talking about waiting. One talking about receiving something and this is the 11 and the 12. Because in, in the tarot, you know, we have up to 10, then 11, 12. So night is a slow movement. And page is kind of, you know, uh, I mean, that offer. You're definitely waiting for an offer of economic value. 
maybe a promotion. You're a page right now. You're waiting for being a knight. So many people now waiting for that kind of, you know, um, a change in the working conditions. Eh? Change in working condition, but also change in uh, the growth, maybe, of your pro uh, your offering. No, I mean, maybe if you are an entrepreneur, you have your own business, you are, let's say, willing to grow. This is about the the willingness to grow, and this is the first blessing: is that you are definitely going to grow. The situation here is that it takes time. 10, 11, and 12 could be potentially within the next, uh, you know, um, uh, 11 to 12 months, within a year, to get the result that you really, really, really want. But, okay, I'm going to check more later, okay? Okay, then, Seven of Cups and the Magician. This is another blessing. This is blessing number one. It's about the growth of your business, your channel, maybe if you're a YouTube channel, and also the, the growth of your uh, your career, okay? This is taking time, but it's happening. Page and night of the same quality means pentacles, means that it's coming. And also means that uh, it is solid. Whatever you're doing is solid. Option uh, blessing number two is the seven of cups and the magician. The seven of cups for me always represent the seven wishes. Okay, <laughs> it also talks about illusion. Also talk about wanted a lot, wanting many things. The magician is promising three of these seven cups to be to be completed. Three of the seven. Why? Because we have the sun. The moon and the earth in this particular card. I mean, this is a nice special card. This is this is not every magician. This is the magician here. And the magician here manifests three big wishes. Three big wishes of your seven wishes are definitely going to happen. I don't know what they are, but they connect with your creativity because this rem reminds me, obviously, the womb, the female womb, uh, that birth, the, the give birth, and there's a diamond here. The magician also reminds me of Gemini. So, Gemini season next year also seems very significant. Okay, this is uh, May, June. Okay, there is a lot of indication here about uh, one year, but this blessing again is about three out of the seven wishes and this is about growth of what you're doing and it's going to happen and the last one there is a pentacles oh yes look at how beautiful oh they are naked as well give me one second i'm going to do on the camera so you know i have a beautiful golden pen okay Ace of Pentacles, yes, that abundance, that abundance, that beginning. And the other Nine of Cups, wow. Okay, so here, okay, it's very difficult to talk about three, I realize that it's very difficult to separate three blessings when they all connect, you know what I mean? It's very difficult, but they are all connected, okay, so... Uh, so probably on the title of this reading, it will be about, you know, uh, well, I will need to leave it to three big blessings. But, <laughs> but okay, this is a wish fulfillment and the Ace of Pentacles. Nine and, and one is ten. Completion of all your dreams. So listen, wow, I'm getting a beautiful message here. You have put the effort, no? So here is a manifestation of something that is going to grow. It's going to take a year, okay? Here we have 10 months, you know? We have the 10, the 11, the 12, and then we have 17, which for me is the star card and is the manifestation card. Also, the Nine of Cups is the, the wish fulfillment. You understand? So in the middle, we have the star, the, ma the magician, the manifestation 
of the seven wishes. In my world, in my, in my uh, reading, my interpretation is, you felt that things were really quiet with the force of swords. You felt that this is a long waiting. And everything is going to a speed within the next uh, year. Okay? And what you're going to manifest is a big, big abundance with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about feeling whole, feeling everything complete. Okay? Everything is flying, growing. Uh, eh? And this Ace of Pentacles has three women here. We have three planets here. You understand? Um, you are going to... Everything is going to feel slow, but it's solid. And it's the right pace. It's the right pace. Because at some point, there are three witches out of your seven witches that unlock. And with that unlockment, we have we have no seven witches fulfilled. We have nine witches fulfilled. It's like you hit the jackpot in a sense of you get that customer that makes you uh, very successful, that video that makes you viral, that, um, let's say, that um, uh, opportunity that grows like crazy. You understand? This is a reading about a slow, a slow movement, but solid, steady, to a moment that everything unlocks with three blessings, which we are discussing the three blessings as we speak, basically. This is the reading of the three blessings. These three blessings are going to happen. And there are three blessings out of seven hopes that you have. What do you hope? You hope it money, home, car, um, subscribers, uh, love, whatever. This is going to happen. Three. When that happens, okay, then we unlock a bigger abundance, a bigger success, a bigger fulfillment, which is the nine of cups. But let's clarify everything with the tarot. And I love it. Clearly, you have two aces, the, ma the magician and the ace of pentacles. We talk about manifestation. From a seven to a nine talks about progression. From a page to a pen nine talk about progression. So you are definitely on the right track to manifesting all your abundance. The abundance, but more. You're, you, you want subscribers. I'm getting a lot. You want subscribers. You want fans. You want followers. You want people to, um, you know... Uh, and if you're not fan or subscriber, you want people to read your books. You know what I mean? I mean that kind of thing. Okay, let's clarify everything. At the bottom, the Empress. Yes, the three is very significant. When, when three out of the seven wishes that you have unlock, which is going to happen, and I'm getting it within a year, of course, uh, the Empress is finding, is manifesting this abundance. You're looking for abundance, big abundance. That's the empress. The handman, number three, wow. Yes, it's a slow movement, you understand? Page to a night, you feel this is slow, but it's in perfect alignment with your wishes and it's in perfect alignment with the empress energy. It is in perfect alignment with the magician, the ace of pentacles, the knife card. Everything is working in the perfect play, uh, place and pace. Place and pace. Look at that. What happened here? And then they asked me to show you this. Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. I'm telling you. They wanted me to pick up this one. This is what you are going to become. A king. A king of Pentacles. <laughs> Page, knight and king. Three big wishes connected to material abundance with the empress. Three. The thing is that when the three are locks, they become the nine. You understand? The five of swords. Five of swords is always about a feeling that you are being um, pulled into many different directions that are not the right direction. So five of swords is about mental worries, like the four of swords. You have to control your mind. Also, Seven of Cups talks about, you know, a feeling a little bit illusional about your dreams. This Five of Swords is telling me that, uh, listen, what doesn't kill you make you stronger? That was this thing. What doesn't kill you make you stronger? So there will be pressures. Life is many times pressure. But there is nothing that takes you away. 
you have to control your mind. You have to do meditation. Check on the Aura app that I have a, you know, a, a, you have a discount. You have to do meditation. You have to control your mind. Okay, Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. No, mamma mia. I'm telling you, big, 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 big material manifestation. Big money. The Ace and the Ten is an Eleven. Between now and 11 months, you are mega, mega, uh, you know, abundant and you will manifest. And some of you is literally this year in the months 10, 11 and 12. We have July, we have July, uh, July, we don't have August, we don't have number eight. But we have number seven, which is July, September, and October, November, with 11, December with the 12th. Some of you, it takes that time. Some of you, it's going to happen literally in this month, uh, this year. Okay, let's put a few more cards from this deck. This is a beautiful manifestation of abundance. The Four of Swords again. Yeah, because you are in a pause at the moment. You are waiting. You're waiting. Relax. The message is relax. Be patient. The handman, be patient. This is in the cooking. This is this is in the cooking. Kino once. Wow. You see? You're going to be able to leave from doing what you love. I mean, you're doing what you love. It is growing. It's clearly this that has grown very slow. Is what you love. Is what put you in the spotlight. Is what, yeah, I'm getting a lot of vibe here of creative people that are waiting for hitting the jackpot of being known, being recognized, being successful from, you know, from, from doing what they love. You are the king. You're going to get this. Okay. The magician twice. The magician twice. I mean, if you have any doubt, this is manifestation, pure manifestation. 11, significant month, the month, the month uh, of November. You may have been born in November. Also, a confirmation. Magician energy, king, king. You're manifesting big abundance. You're manifesting three big wishes. Okay, and that unlock nine wishes that you didn't, even didn't have. They're coming for you. But this feels like a pause, I know. But don't worry. The eight, we were missing the number eight. Here the eight comes. Eight of cups. Many of you, it will be July, August, September, October, November, December. The last month of the year. I get the feeling with this eight of cups that when you are not looking... You know, with the page of four of swords. When you were not looking, this came. <laughs> when you were not looking, the ace become the ten and the wish fulfillment. We have eight and nine of cups, seven, eight and nine. The 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 the, the, the completion, the progression towards this empress. The seven, the eight and the nine. Four and ten of pentacles. Exactly what's going to happen. This is all talking about progression. This five of swords and the seven of cups tell me the story that sometimes you worry about wishing for too much. No, it's never too much. It's never too much. It's never. I always tell my, my team, you know, because I manage a team. I always tell my team, think bigger, think bigger, wish bigger. Never restrict your wishes because the seven becomes the nine, you understand? The seven become the eight and become the nine. That kind of idea. Okay. I love your reading. Wow. That's why I like to put a, a tarot cards because it kind of repeats. Okay. And to complete the reading, we are going to put a poem from my deck, a collaboration with Lanon and Sam, the deck of the Cosmic Creator. This is available on uh, the link under the timestamps. It is a gorgeous, I mean, I put a lot of love here. This is the dragon's energy and this is poems and, you know, channeling. This is pure channeling. 
Okay. Oh, you have Luna's essence. <laughs> Gifted with unparalleled psychic abilities, you are the moon sentinel, her vigilant eye embodying the essence of Luna herself. <laughs> I mean, that was fun to do. Listen, your Luna's essence means that you definitely, a lot of you have a channel, eh? A YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Or you do this as well. Okay, the Luna's Essence. Oh, I love it. It's the first one in this in this uh, deck. Okay, you embody Luna, a being interwo interwoven with psychic power powers and lunar mystic. Your intuition is unwavering. Your connection to the moon and her powers profound. Well, we have double magician, no? Gifted with unparalleled psychic abilities, you are the moon sentinel, her vigilant eye embodying the essence of Luna herself. Beneath the moon gentle gaze, a soul takes flight. With intuition sharp and psychic might, Luna's essence within, a bond so true, guiding the way in the night's deep blue. A connection profound with the moon's embrace, in the cosmic dance, a delicate trace. With every face, a new power unfurls, Luna's child, the keeper of pearls. In the silent night, a whisper, a song, with Luna gifts, where you belong. A sentinel of dreams in the silver light, embracing the power with all your might. Yes, embrace the power of your wishes. Never think small, think bigger. Because start with three and becomes nine, becomes ten, becomes eleven, becomes twelve. You know, it's like what felt quiet. Well felt in a pause makes you a king. And from that kingdom, the magician comes twice because the magician manifests infinite abundance with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and infinite wish fulfillment. And the Empress, well, the Empress just, you know, is the summary of this reading. The Creator. I love it. Okay, if you enjoy the reading, this ring is charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop, First Come, First Serve. I'm going to put it on the magician because we have twice magician and I love that magician. <laughs> we have one, one, one. I love numbers here. Four, four, eight, eight, um, three, three, nine. Ah, oh, it's so connected. I love it. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Support the channel in every single way that you can support. It could be a like, it could be a comment, it could be a subscribe, it could be in the uh, my patrons, it could be my Etsy shop, whatever. I love it. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Till the next one. Bye bye. Telling the souls, happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. If you have chosen this beautiful, you know, amethyst ring, this will be charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop. First come, first serve. You have chosen the, again, the chariot and the first uh, The lioness, the lioness oracle tarot deck. It's gorgeous. When I bring pink to the table, this one always comes. <laughs> it's such a beautiful, gorgeous deck. I love decks, of course. Okay. What are the blessings, the three big blessings coming your way? Eight of Wands. I don't want the car because the car is uncomfortable. <laughs> Eight of Wands. It's happening fast. It's happening very fast. The month of August may be significant for many of you. Eight of Wands. Speed. Okay. Blessing number one. Three of Wands. Wow. Inspiration. The travel. A travel to some place that you like. This is holiday, honestly. Oh, double three, the three of cups and the three of wands. Wow, this is about going 
joy, celebration, enjoyment. You're going to a beautiful place, a beautiful holiday uh, with your friends, with your family, with whoever you want. You're going to have such a great time. This is a manifestation of, you know, a celebration, a celebration. Maybe it's a wedding, uh, you know, like a trip to a beautiful location. Three, three, in 33 days, maybe. Some of you in 33 days. Wow. Because we're in holiday season right now, you know, we're going into August and August, of course, in 33 days, uh, it will be close to August. Yes. Okay. So this is joy, enjoyment. These holidays are going to be a dream of three of ones is abroad. You know, it's not home. It's abroad. Wow. I love that. We want that. Okay. That's, a, that's a blessing number one. Okay, it's a destination that is very connected to nature and also it's a destination. Maybe it's a four hours flight. I'm getting <laughs> four hours flight from where you are. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, four of, talking about four. Wow, I, I saw the four and then we have the four of ones. It's a wedding for some cases. You're going to see a wedding, you're going to, you know, to be okay in a place that is very common for weddings as well, maybe. The King of Pentacles, wow. Enjoying some extra money, enjoying some kind of, you know, feeling like going to a five-star hotel, like a, a destination that is very posh, that is very nice, is very rich. Okay, but that, I mean, listen, I was doing this reading, I was thinking on three big, big blessings, and then at the end, I end up kind of connecting them all. In this case, some of you also, I don't do love reading, but some of you are getting a proposal. Come on. This is also a proposal made on a holiday, maybe. Some of you are getting, are getting, you know, are getting a lot of money. They're getting married as well. I mean, some of you are, you know, let's say, celebrating, celebrating abundance, celebrating partnership. Some of you are in the uh, wedding business. Some of you I'm also getting and making a lot of money for organizing these adventures on this partnership. You have a travel, you work for the travel industry, maybe, or you kind of, you know, create unique experiences for others. That's also something that is coming here. Definitely you're targeting rich people. So the people that you are going to receive as a customer is going to be very abundant. Okay. That's also, you know, if we connect this with work, you know, this is someone that definitely is making money out of rich people. Your customers are going to be rich people. You offering an experience. I'm getting buying buying buy yards as well. Oh no, it's all pretty. Okay, last one. Seven of cups and the ten of wands. Honestly, listen, this is, look, Bali, Bali, again, a, 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 a bus in India, okay? Again, whole uh, Egypt, you know, like different locations. I'm getting different locations here, okay? I'm getting that this is kind of, you know, feels like a personal reading, but I'm going to say it because obviously uh, this is a general reading, but I, 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 I'm trying to be as general as I can, but take what resonates, Okay. This, this topic about taking what resonates is very important, okay? But here, some of you were not making any money because the place that you have a promote as a holiday place were not given enough money. So basically, the, there was a change on this. Look, this is a bed of a hotel. You understand? It's a bed of a hotel. This is also a ban of going into Machu Picchu, I'm getting. Machu Picchu, Thailand, Bali, um, um, anyway, the point is, the point is the manifestation is a manifestation of, in some cases, this is a wedding. In some cases, this is a wedding. This is marriage. This is going into a place that, you know, you would travel the world together, you know, at the end of the loneliness. I mean, it's like that kind of energy I'm getting here, celebrating with friends. I mean, that a wedding in August, I don't know. I'm getting very specific. And some others, this is about people making business out of this business, which is 
the wedding, the travel, the holiday, the, you know, experiences, etc. And 3-3 three, three is about mastering, mastering this business, mastering how to make money and attract singing the song to the rich people. You're creating an offer that is for luxurious. In the past, maybe your offer was about, uh, you know, places that were more, you were targeting a more low, low value holiday. Now you're targeting the big, big value holiday and that's the success, okay? You have traveled the world. There is the end of any burden because there is a lot of abundance here. In this, in this idea and this work, there's a lot of abundance, okay? For some others, this manifestation is a holiday, a holiday, a proposal, okay? A honeymoon, um, celebrations, joy, money, abundance, richness. And this manifestation is the end of the waiting, the end of the, uh, the end of the illusion. Because this is very concrete. It's the end of any illusion that you have about love, the end of any illusion that you have about business, and the end of any illusion that you potentially could have about uh, uh, traveling and enjoying life and that kind of thing. Ten of Pentacles, yes. Ten, ten. Money, 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 money. Abundance. You will make a lot of money if you are in this business or you will be very, you will, you are enjoying your money. <laughs> okay, three, 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 because you keep generating. The Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you. Maybe you win the lottery, because obviously I did a reading about winning the lottery. Maybe you win the lottery and you kind of, you know, start spending traveling. Okay, as simple as that. It's very common that people that win the lottery start traveling. Okay? Like a king. You will travel like a king. You will go to all five stars hotel. The Knight of Swords. Wow, it's happening really fast, eh? I'm telling you. We have double four. Did we have double four? No, I saw four here. Okay. We have definitely an eight. Eight is very significant. Uh, six is now. This manifestation is happening now. This manifestation perfectly happened uh, a month, you know, like July, August. Okay? July, August. And by October, you know, like, you're just investing your money after that? I don't know. I'm getting that energy. The eight of cups. Wow, this came before. The 8th, August is a very significant month, okay? This is about leaving behind, 7 of cup, 10 of cup. This is about leaving behind any worry about money, honestly. Any worry about home, any worry about holidays, any worry about, you know, you know, enjoying life. You are ending that. You are ending that. Your, your world now becomes the universe, you know? You're looking out there and you're thinking, okay, where I'm going to travel next? Maybe I'm going to check on Virgin, Virgin in case that they have a trip to Saturn, a trip to the moon. That kind of money. You will have money that you could, could spend on places and experiences that will be crazy. Also, you're creating experiences that will generate a lot of money. Those two, those two messages, you understand? They will resonate. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, this one. But these two want to come. Okay, I'm going to put one here, one here. Okay, I'm going to put three for you. And at the bottom, Queen of Cups. Oh, <laughs> this is the manifestation, the channeling of the abundance. This is you. Intuition is spot on. The High Priestess and the Knight of Swords twice. You see? Your intuition. You're manifesting this like freaking crazy. And I love that it comes into the Wheel of Fortune because you're manifesting this really fast, 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 fast. Two weeks for some of you. Wow. The Knight of Swords again. This also you're manifesting a partner in some cases. You're manifesting customers. Yes. You're manifesting marriage. Yes. You're manifesting, you know, security. Yes. Ace of Cups, yes, 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 love, 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 offer, I mean, abundance of self-abundance, the Four of Swords, the end of the quiet time, eh? 
I'm telling you. This is this is for source here is about a pause. Ay Dios. With those those um knight of swords here, this is mm, forget about it, this is not slow, this is fast. One is in one month. Okay? One month, 33 days I said. It's very fast. Page of Cups. <laughs> From a page to a, a queen. Another cup, you know, seven, eight, and nine. This is telling me the wish fulfillment. Seven, eight, nine. Two of Wands. Wow. Two of Wands talk about having the world in your hands, about enjoying the world in partnership. I'm getting that all these trips, all this success is going to be shared. That's what I'm getting with these two of Wands. And also 10 plus 2 is equal, uh, equal, sorry, equal 12, which is uh, Capricorn season is very significant. The month of uh, Capricorns are very significant. I don't know why. But I'm getting very beautiful here that the 7, the 8, and one more cup is the 9, the wish fulfillment. And the 12 here is the 3, which is the 33, 3, 3, 3. The manifestation of this 10 of Pentacles, the manifestation of your psych. I mean, you're very psychic, you're very powerful. You're ending the quiet time, okay? You're going to have money to spare with the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to have love to spare because you have the Ace of Cups here and the King and the Four of Wands. Listen, this is a celebration. The three big blessings is celebration, partnerships, abundance. Okay? And the three big blessing is a business that flourish, and they're standing, uh, attracting different customers, attracting customers that have a lot of money. Okay? And creating an offering to them that makes them very, very, uh, uh, that is, that it makes them really, really fulfilled. And this is about a very well generated money uh, business idea. Okay? Let's put one final card from my deck of the Cosmic Creator. This is the deck that I created with Lanon and Sam. The link is available and the, you can purchase this. Um, and the link is available under the timestamps. And these are all poems that, that I channel for the dragons. It's a deck of the Cosmic Creator, but always it's about dragons energy. And it's for the dragons year. Okay. And yours is Genesis of Being. Oh, wow. The moment I was born, dragon or fire, I knew I was here to become knowledge. <laughs> wow. This is very powerful. I knew I was here to become knowledge. You are the king of, uh, king of pentacles. You are wisdom. You are knowledge. You are the high priestess. You are the queen of cups. You are all of this. Okay. Genesis of being. Let's see the poem. Genesis of Being. Born of fire, dragon's breath, life and death in my first cry. I starry dance, my place I found, with eyes aglow, night profound. A quest through darkness to seek, to learn, in lands and grains, understanding turn. <laughs> Knowledge as winds, truth as flame. From ignorance, ashes, wisdom came. The ashes. From the ignorance, ashes, wisdom came. Wow. Forged in cosmic fire, my being's core, a dragon journey forevermore. Oh, this is your year. This is your time. This is it, this is it, this is it. Wow, it's the turn of your luck, you know, 10, 10, 10. Three tens, three times three. Uh, two, two, eight, eight. Wow. This ring is available in message shop, first come, first serve, okay? Uh, will be available to purchase. Okay, I will put it on the Wheel of Fortune. It's my favorite card. <laughs> and it's purple. <laughs> so thank you so much for all the love, the support. Please subscribe, comment, share, like, become a member.
become a patron, check out my Etsy shop uh, if you want personal readings, if you want any other, uh, you know, uh, jewelry items, you know, I, I have a lot of, you know, beautiful pieces there. I, hope to up, I need to update my shop because I have to put my new stuff. But saying all of that, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me read for you. And keep conquering the world. You're freaking amazing. Namaste. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Bye-bye.